All right, so here's the baseboard. So I'm gonna tape this up and I'm gonna seal the tape. And I wanted to show you, the, when I do the baseboards, any kind of horizontal run like this, I do it differently than I do uh, the vertical run. So the vertical run, if you remember, I actually come out onto the trim a little bit, away from the wall. But in the baseboard, I actually take the tape and I roll it up onto the wall just a little bit, okay? Now the idea here is that when you're standing up and looking down over the top of it, you don't want to see any of the white part of the top of the trim. So it's okay to leave a little bit of the trim color on the wall. Again, in the scheme of things, you'll never see it once the tape is pulled and you're standing up, right? Okay, so roll it onto the wall like that. Okay, so remember when we're sealing the tape, we want to seal the tape with whatever color we're protecting. So I'm protecting the trim color, so I'm going to use the trim color to seal the tape. Okay. Okay, so the paint that I used to seal the tape is dry, so I'm going to go ahead and cut it with a coat of the blue paint I've been using. Okay, now don't do this. <laughs> All right, now I need to wait for this to dry and I need to put another coat on it. Okay, and then we'll come back. I'll put another coat on it, wait for it to dry, and then I will pull the tape so you can see what it looks like. Okay. Okay, so I've applied the second coat here and I'm gonna pull the tape. Remember, you always want to pull the tape back over itself. Okay. So when you pull the tape, you'll notice that there's a white edge on the wall. Okay, and the only way to really see that is to lay down on the floor and look at it. So it looks fine. From the top, what you really want to do is you don't want to see any blue on the top of the trim, right? And that's what we've accomplished here. So when I stand up and I look down on top of it, it looks like a nice clean straight line because there's no blue on the trim. 